not been a very eventful dig day, but it looks like I did find another vehicle. <laughs> this time a truck. That's cool, so at least I got something here. Huh. All right. Looks from the wheels like it might be a Hot Wheels car. Okay. Well, I don't usually show post digs, but this is one of the most widespread coin fields I ever had. It started over here, a, few a couple of quarters, a nickel or so, and then a buttload of zincs, and then went over to here with another nickel. So that was, that was a... If you notice that sound, it's almost like a reverberation. Boom, 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 boom. That, um, that always means a large target. It can be close to the surface or a little, or midways, but that's usually always what that means. Sure. And a pretty large bunch of signal right here. I think it might just be a can. Probably just a quarter, but a quarter is golden on days like this, so let's see. Quarter. Alright, that's two quarters, it's a little spill here. I'm using my macro pointer and the reason I'm using it is I can't I don't have anything else with me uh, because it's it's kind of annoying that I'm really really don't like that button that switches it off and on well we'll get back at it this is Texas Tiger Diggs and I've got to do the roundup here for the uh, Thanksgiving I guess weekend uh, Thanksgiving wasn't included in here of course like everybody else you know I I didn't do any, uh, like not like everybody, but like most people, I didn't get a chance to do any detecting. I had met with the family, enjoyed some dinner and some company, and I do enjoy hanging out with that branch of my family. <laughs> I enjoy hanging out with most, most members of my family, but that's my cousins. They're more like brothers than cousins, so I enjoy, uh, I enjoy hanging out with them a lot, being an only child, so... A lot of my cousins are more like brothers and sisters than cousins. Anyway, uh, I went out uh, Black Friday. Didn't have much time left. Uh, I had to work on Black Friday. Uh, so I, I had to work. So I didn't get a chance to get out much more than I would on a normal um, work day. Even less to some degree. Of course, the days are short. Be unbelievably short. But I think the winter solstice is about to happen. And at that point... If I remember my dates correctly, or my solstices and equinoxes, etc., correctly, at the winter solstice, then the days begin to get longer again. Okay, here we go. So I went out uh, on, uh, like I said, on a uh, on uh, Black Friday. I didn't go shopping. <laughs> I had time, but God knows I didn't want to get in that mess. I don't do Black Friday. I might do Cyber Monday, which is. Uh, uh, by tomorrow uh, uh, at the time of this uh, video so uh, I might do a little work might do a little go then in any case I got this 10 years men with heart a decade of caring uh, I assume this is some type of heart association anytime you mention men and heart it's usually because we kill over earlier that it, uh, it's uh, really uh, 
put into a effect and it could be a hmm, a decade of carrying not sure anyway but that's great at least the sentiment is great and uh, you know I got this and it was, it was over on this side it was pretty much of a surface fine and uh, uh, a, a detector assisted this I can't figure out what it is it is it looks like a three-leaf clover uh, a an amalgam of a three-leaf clover with legs or with with I don't know it's, it's really weird anyway I'll, I'll see if I can get a closer picture of it maybe put it uh, right after here in the roundup but uh, you know it's, it's cool I didn't I found this thought it was a penny it's not a penny it is something very strange and unusual and like it could have been attached to something or glued to something not exactly sure what but it's, it was okay so that was not a huge thing and it was all with the dais you guys know when time when there's a time crunch and I'm running I always go to the dais so that was about that's about 63 cents that was a very short hunt maybe 45 minutes or so so here we go now uh, this is uh, yesterday's hunt which was uh, Saturday the, the day after Black Friday and I found some interesting things I got a new vehicle <laughs> really like this and it is a Hot Wheels I can tell by the, by the wheels it was Hot Wheels uh, can't read the date and stuff on it uh, but uh, it's pretty cool anyway or the uh, but that's nice I really do like that you know I'm a guy so love my toys and especially my toy vehicles and it was pretty uh pretty crunched up and I'm still I'm still knocking uh, bits of mud out of it but uh, you know that was really cool and I found this uh, another Queen Elizabeth II charm it's different than the other one and I can prove it because this one actually has a a full loop for probably I guess uh, being put on a uh, on a charm bracelet but this is the second Elizabeth II charm I found in about the same area. And the weird thing is, I, I went through that area and said, hey, this, I found my Queen Elizabeth charm there. I wonder if we're gonna, if I'm gonna find another charm. And voila, it popped up. I keep saying, I've got to say, I haven't got platinum, a platinum, a pure platinum ring yet. Uh, there should be one right around the corner. I got to start saying that and hope it comes true like this. But that is that's cool. So that's nice to have. So I'll put that over. And that was a that's very nice. And uh, a pretty good clad day. Though I did do a couple of hunts, so it wasn't my normal short hunt day. Well, short the short hunts were there, but uh, so we just put a few quarters there, maybe a buck and a half and quarters there. Put another dime got a couple of nickels in this one i got a good size coin spill and you see the location for the coin spill on the uh on the uh, videos uh, i attached to the beginning of this the pre the pre roundup videos wasn't many of them but i did show there's a very large area and i got a buttload of zincs there if they'd have been dimes or nickels or quarters it'd probably been my biggest value coin spill might have been one of my larger number coin spills so there we go. It's probably I don't know, buck sixty, buck seventy. Yeah. So uh, and then uh, this is today. I went out this morning. Didn't get a chance to go back out. Got busy. Uh, personal stuff, relationship stuff, honey do's, better do's, etc. So uh, and so I went out. I hit and scouted a new park, and I used the pivot head. And I screwed up. I didn't have it configured correctly. And the pivot head is a lot different. I'm going to do a review of the pivot head com combined with some of my other, because uh, I've got actually four pair of glasses, uh, of glass ca glasses cameras. One was a 720, the other is a 1080p's. And they're all subtly different. And the major difference is when I jump to the pivot head. The pivot head is is nice, but you know it's, it it has its little gatches here. But the gatches is not pivot head's fault; is mine. I've got familiar with the other ones, and it doesn't work exactly the same way. So, uh, so I just got there, and this this little shiny quarter that was uh, a find in the new park I went to scout, uh, and one of these other quarters, not sure which one there. And I got about sixty cents there in a very short period of time, and I'm going to be putting that in my in my circuit. And it's one of the older parks, so I hope to find some things. There is a lot of fields. There's a tot lot. There's a large area of picnic tables. So 
I'm hoping to bring some silver or gold out of there at some point. In any case, this is another buck and quarters. And a couple of more dimes and a bunch more pennies. About a buck twelve, buck thirteen, buck twenty-three, I believe. So that's uh, that's my take for those three days, and that's you know it's, it's a pretty reasonable clad count, uh, you know, and you know did my no no silver, no gold, but I did get a few uh, unique things, particularly the 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 repeat on the. Uh, the it wasn't unique, but the repeat of a Queen Elizabeth II charm in a in a uh, in a wooded area in Texas is unusual, and whatever the heck this is. All right, here we go. So, not too bad. That's a buck. There's two bucks. There's three bucks. Not a bad clad count. Three bucks. That's three fifty with dimes and nickels. And let's go. Let's make it three seventy two. About four bucks. You know, like I said, that's not that's not spectacular. You know, I'd rather have a little, a little a precious metal or two, but uh, we'll settle for that. In any case, uh, that's all I've got for this Thanksgiving weekend, and I'll be back to my normal grind uh, uh, next week. The weather has been great. We had that little polar blast, that polar vortex that came through, and since then, I, it, it was shirt sleeve weather today. I think it was in the 70s. I'm not sure what it is now. It's probably not out of the 60s yet, or, you know, in the high 60s. I just went out uh, with a short sleeve shirt on uh, just a minute, a few minutes ago. So, that's all I've got, and uh, I will uh, check you next time. So, uh, you have a wonderful post-Thanksgiving, or whenever you see this video, have a wonderful next week, two, three weeks, years, and I will be back uh, hunting very soon. And so, there will be another video out. There will be more, more vlogging. Hopefully, the next vlog will contain a precious metal or two, but I'm happy with what I get when I get it. It's all fun. It's Texas Tiger Diggs. Catch you next time.